Hello, YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here, and we're going to do a beer review. Okay, this one is by Port Brewing Company, and it's their Hop 15 Double IPA. That's what the can looks like. Okay. This puppy comes in at 11% alcohol by volume. And uh, they're from uh, San Marcos, California. And it has a date of 9, 10, no, no, yeah, 9, 10, 20. So this puppy's uh, seven days, one week old. So it's very fresh. I've never had this before, never seen it before, nothing. Hop 15, Double India Pale Ale, laid back and hop forward. Port Brewing has been producing world-class beer since 2006. With more citrus character than a farmer's market, Hop 15 is bursting with notes of tropical and stone fruits, altered by a spicy hop finish. This Imperial IPA has always wowed the crowd and judges alike since its inception in 2003. Okay. Well, this is a, um, oh, just trying to see how much is in here. It's a big tall boy. I think it's like 20. Here we go. 19.2 fluid ounces. So that's a pretty big can. And uh, I picked this up at Total Wine and More for like seven bucks out the door. So let's get it cracked open and see what we got here. Eleven percent's a huge beer. Uh, I'm gonna be pretty good after this one, no doubt about it. This is probably equivalent to like four beers in one can, one can this size of this. Okay, no way we're gonna get all that in there in one shot. So I'll leave it right there. We have a huge, frothy, creamy, silky, pretty uh, bouncy looking head there. We have a slightly hazy amber color, definitely a West Coast style. I have never had a beer this big from uh, from these guys, Port Brewing Company. This is a huge beer, 11%. Okay. Let's get an aroma on this puppy. Right front, I'm getting like a <clears throat> kind of like a malt sweetness. Like a bready kind of almost caramelly kind of malt sweetness up front. Maybe a little bit of some kind of earthy hop. Yeah, like a slight earthy hop and a really nice kind of caramel bready sweetness. Smells pretty, pretty good. Smells pretty malty, but 11% too. Let's get a hit. Cheers. Oh, man. That is tasty. Wow. That is <clears throat> very tasty. There's definitely a lot more going on in the sip than the aroma. There it is. Hop 15, double IPA. Okay. Let's 
That's a freaking glass of beer right there. 11%. Well, it's very well balanced. Uh, it's got like a malt sweetness to it. Um, the hops that I'm picking up are kind of earthy. Kind of earthy and um, a little bit kind of citrusy kind of hoppiness, but not really. It's more on the kind of uh, caramel sweet bready side. It goes down super easy for 11%. There's no booziness, no raw alcohol notes or nothing like that at all. You can't tell it's 11% at all. It's got a real silky smooth mouthfeel. It's like a medium mouthfeel. The hops are really hard to describe actually. Um, they're there, but um, it's 11%, so the malt's just really like pretty dominant in this one. So it's kind of blending out uh, the hop character, but the hop character is there and it's very good, but it's hard to get around the massive malt backbone of this beer. It's super tasty and super easy to drink for 11%. I could probably, I'm probably gonna like drink this pretty fast and it's probably gonna hit me pretty good. So I'll be having a pretty, pretty cool evening. So even some lacing on the glass there. It almost has like a, a toast note to it. Like when you toast uh, white bread, it almost has that kind of note. You get to smell the malts in this beer though. It's very well balanced actually. Um, It's not bitter, it's not overly sweet, but it is a little sweet. I think if you age this beer for more than three months, it's going to get way too sweet. But right now, being a week old, this is pretty damn tasty. And uh, it drinks real easy for 11%. It's got a real nice uh, malt sweetness to it. Now, hops are there, but it's just really hard to pinpoint exactly uh, what they're smelling and tasting like. But it's super awesome tasting, easy drinking, 11% West Coast style IPA. Uh, this is pretty awesome stuff. Um, you can't drink too many of these because uh, it's a little high in alcohol, but... Um, it's super easy to drink for what it is, and it's very, very tasty. It's worth the seven dollars for this uh, tall boy, definitely. Um, you only need like maybe two of those, and you'll be good to go. Um, this is an awesome beer, extremely well constructed, especially being 11 percent. You can't detect raw alcohol notes, no booziness. Big time cracker bread kind of note, little touch of caramel, like toast also in the malt bill. Mm. Yeah, toast, toasty kind of white bread toast. And the hops, the earthy hops with some kind of... Um, there's some other, I, I guess they're like citrusy kind of hop notes in there blended with it, but it's just straight hoppy and malty and awesome. So we'll take uh, one more swill here and we'll wrap it up. Cheers. Yeah, big toasty white bread note, cracker, bready, looks like caramel. And then the earthy hops and whatever kind of hops are coming through is so good. It's so good. Um, that's an awesome beer. So that's pretty much what I got on this puppy. Um, uh, on a scale of one to five stars, I'm going to give this puppy a 4.6. It's that good. It is that good. It's the best beer I've had from uh, Pizza, from Port Brewing Company. This right here. Awesome stuff. Um, be careful, though, drinking this one, y'all.
it'll get pretty buzzed pretty quick. So uh, 4.6 it is. That's my story, and I'm going to stick with that. I'll have the description of this beer at the bottom of the video in the description section. Please like and subscribe. I'd much appreciate that. And this one's getting the double horns up also. All right, so 4.6 it is. All right, uh, y'all have an awesome evening. We'll check you later. See ya.